What do you think about the mosque controversy? I think we need more mosques. Why? So we can show the world that we are not bigots. But don't you know what happens in countries where Muslims rule? I don't care. We need more hope and change. That is crazy. There are too many Christian fundamentalists trying to impose their views on us through government. What? They are trying to take over America. We need more Muslims to show the world how multicultural we are. But don't you read about what is happening in Europe because of rampant Muslim immigration? You must be a bigot. Please. Let's talk about the issues. These events are important. No. You should not be allowed to speak. You must have supported Bush. You're a hate monger. But I'm trying to have a dialogue with you about the issues. Your hate speech should be banned. But don't you know that Sharia law is being implemented in many European countries with large Muslim immigrant populations? I don't care. You're a warmonger. But in many European cities, there are now no-go zones where non-Muslims and police cannot enter. Islam is a religion of peace. We should welcome all of them. Yes, but don't you think we should carefully screen which immigrants come here from Muslim countries? No. You spread hate. I will report you for hate speech. But don't you think Muslims need to reform their religion to embrace all cultures and renounce violence among them? No, Muslim immigrants should come. We are a nation of immigrants. But aren't you aware of the human rights abuses in many Muslim countries where women don't have rights and are tortured? No. Conservative Christians oppress women's rights because they don't want women to have abortions. You must be a radical right-winger. I simply want to have a dialogue about the issues affecting the world. I'm going to call campus security and have you arrested for hate speech. No, I'm not condoning hatred towards Muslims. I'm simply addressing a global concern regarding the violence and their religion. There are many who want to destroy Israel and America. You're a fascist. The Palestinians should be given their land back and have a state. The land is Israel's. It is their ancient homeland and the territory they acquired during their wars when they were attacked by the Arabs is rightly theirs. The Palestinians preach hatred and violence against Jews. They teach their children that suicide bombing is good if it targets Jews. No. The Palestinians are oppressed by apartheid policies. Israel commits war crimes against them. That's not true. Israel provides the Palestinians security and millions worth of food and aid. Israel tries to defend its citizens against Palestinian rockets that are shot at its cities and schools. I don't care. The Zionist conspiracy creates propaganda and controls the media and financial centers of the world. Iran just wants nuclear power to provide electricity. That is the same rhetoric that the terrorists use. Iran's President Ahmadinejad has repeatedly vowed to destroy Israel and the West. He seems like a nice man when he speaks at the UN. But he speaks genocide to his people and supports Hezbollah. What is Hezbollah? Hezbollah is a terrorist group that is controlled by Iran. They have thousands of missiles in Lebanon ready to fire at Israel. President Obama needs to talk with Ahmadinejad and make peace with the terrorists. But these terrorists have repeatedly vowed to destroy the West. What part of this do you not understand? You are a warmonger. The terrorists are defending themselves from the Islamophobes and imperialist America. No, I'm not. You are a nutcase. I'm trying to describe the facts to you, and you repeatedly demonize America. What is wrong with you? That is what MoveOn.org says, and what I learned on The View and The Rachel Maddow Show. Those organizations are invested in socialism, controlling every aspect of our lives, and weakening America's role as superpower. We are citizens of the world. All cultures are equal. We should embrace everyone and adhere to one central governing body. America is too greedy and decadent. Do you ever think about the consequences of your beliefs? Don't you realize that America has provided more advancements, freedom, wealth, and security for most of the world than any country in the world's history? The right-wingers are the problem. That is what Keith Olbermann and Rachel Maddow tell me. Right-wingers are too greedy, and they listen to Fox News. They hate gays. Right-wingers that you speak of are for capitalism and creating wealth, not destroying wealth and stealing from people to give to others. I'm just against gay marriage. I do not hate gays. Many Islamic countries routinely kill gay people just for being gay. I don't care. Islam is a religion of peace. You are a bigot and extremist. We should welcome everyone into our country. But don't you think we need secure borders so that not just anyone can come into the country unchecked? The Mexicans do the work that Americans won't. I never spoke about Mexicans. 
You must be racist against Mexicans. They are hard workers and need rights. No, I'm talking about the need to secure our borders from any type of infiltration and illegal entry. A nation without borders will soon cease to exist. America depends on the workers from Mexico. That is not true. Illegal immigrants have taken jobs away from millions of Americans and compete with poor Americans for jobs. Illegal immigrants are a severe drain on our country's social policies, schools, and hospitals. They also cause many crimes and introduce third world diseases into the country. The Mexican drug cartels have spilled over into our country. No. I don't care. We should welcome all the poor, hungry, and needy. For this is America, and we have an obligation to provide them with jobs and free medical care. But those policies are not sustainable. California is bankrupt. Arizona is currently in a crisis. No. You hate immigrants. Your right-wingers are ignorant Bible-thumping Christian fundamentalists. I'm trying to describe the issues with you. Why do you continue to level personal attacks against me while avoiding the issues? I am a liberal. I like TV. Don't you know what is going on in the world? Dancing with the Stars is coming out with a new episode. I like Obama. He will save us from this mess that Bush caused. You are a complete moron with no hint of a rational thought in your whole body. Your mind is so fried from the drugs you did when you were a hippie that you are now incapable of reasoning or drawing a rational conclusion from the facts. You are only interested in entertainment and are so buried in your own narcissism that you shun the truths of the world to fuel your own self-righteous attitude of condescension against perceived enemies of goodness pervade by the deceitful neo-Marxists who seek to take control over every aspect of your life and render you a slave to the state. You are the sheeple who allowed people like Obama to become elected. May you never reproduce, vote, or influence any citizen of your quackery, and may God have mercy on your soul. I am a teacher. I teach political science at Berkeley. This, in a nutshell, is what's wrong with America. The more people who are brainwashed by the left's lies, the more trouble we will be in, and the less likely we will be to get America back on the right track. Liberalism is indeed a mental disorder 